Hey guys, welcome back. So today I've got my um, what I get what I will. Today I've got my what I keep in my makeup train case, my freelance makeup kit. Um, this is a bit like a makeup collection video because, to be honest, everything I use in my kit would be stuff I would use on myself. Because why would I use a product that I don't like? Um, I've got a makeup collection up on my channel, um, so there will be similar stuff in it. Um, there's a few bits that are different, but not loads. And obviously there's a bigger range of colours and stuff. Um, I love these videos to watch. I have done all my makeup qualification now. Um, makeup's something that I, I really enjoy doing and I love creating different looks. Um, but I have done my actual proper qualification because obviously insurance and things like that, and, you know, you like to know that you're using somebody that is actually qualified to do it, not just think they're good at it, you know. Um, so I have done my qualifications um, and I am sort of certified and stuff. I'm just waiting for my Mac Pro stuff to come through. Um, as with foundations, my kit isn't 100% how I, how I would like it. A um, lot of people have this massive obsession with MAC. Like the makeup artist they use has to have MAC, they have to use MAC. Don't get me wrong, I use MAC eyeshadows because I love MAC eyeshadows. They're so blendable, they're really, really nice, they're pigmented, they're just great shadows, they, they're long wearing. Um, I don't use MAC foundations at the moment. I use MAC concealers, um, I don't use MAC foundations for the simple fact that I personally don't use MAC foundations on me. I have very dry skin and I found a lot of them to be quite cakey. Um, so I'm thinking I might go to a MAC counter and just spend like half a day trying out all the different foundations and settling on one that I think is best for all kinds of types of skin um, or two different types and get a colour range in the two different types because like MAC face and body is really popular with makeup artists but on me it's horrible so I know that if it goes really cakey on me and dry and if I can't use it on dry skin I don't want to put it on somebody with dry skin so I'm thinking I will I will find a MAC foundation that would suit a lot of people because people do love MAC, they're just obsessed with it. So that is the foundation front, that's something I'm not quite 100% settled on yet. Um, as for kit box, um, I got mine from eBay actually, um, and I'll show you it in a minute, it's from a, a place called Molly Coddle. Um, that was really hard because I watched a lot of these videos on YouTube and I saw kit boxes that I loved and was like, oh that's, that's the one, I have to have that one. And you can only get them in the States. So all these American YouTubers were showing these great boxes and over here you either can't get them or they were like £600. And while I was setting up, whilst I didn't mind spending the money on the makeup, I was not going to spend £600 on something to just put it in because that's ridiculous. Um, so I've bought this one off eBay. I think it was about £70 to £80. Um, so again, it wasn't cheap, but you know they need to last. Um, you can get them in Sally's or, you know, if you just Google, like, makeup train case or freelance makeup kit case, something like that, you will find something. Um, but yeah, it is something that I really like because it's all in compartments and it's nice to keep it tidy and it does make my life easier. So I will get straight on and show you what is in my kit. So this is my um, train case. It is from a company called Molly Coddle, it says it there, um, which you can just look up on eBay. It is a four compartment train case, I know it looks like more, but this top one is one box, then second one, third one, and fourth one is a big one at the bottom. I'm only going to go through what's in the main top box there, and then the next two down. That bottom one I keep for things like hairbrushes, um, just random bits and pieces, cleaning stuff, things like that. So that's not really very exciting, um, so I will leave that one. So I will start with this top box here. Oh, and also this train case does have this little um, extendable handle for wheeling it around, which is obviously really handy. So first of all I'll open this one up and it's got just two clips. This does have a key with it but it's a pretty flimsy key to be honest. I'd only use it if I felt like I really needed to lock it up. And these open out like this. Then inside are my two top trays. Um, these side I've got powders and bronzers and stuff like that. Um, there was a highlight in here but it's in my room um, and there's a random gel eyeliner which I need to put back. So I've got the L'Oreal True Match powder, um, I've got the Revlon, um, this is their like shimmer brick basically and it's absolutely amazing, I love this product. Um, Benefit Georgia, Benefit Throb and Benefit Hula, all of them I love. And this to me is like one of the most universal MAC blushes. I know that it looks, um, it looks brown on camera but it's not, it's called Sincere and it's like a beigey blush, I don't know how to describe it but it's really really universal, it seems to look great on everybody. 
I keep that in there. Then in this side I keep primers and foundations. So primers wise, I've got a cheapy um, Fix and Perfect Pro, which I do use sometimes, um, just depending on their skin type, what they want it for, um, or, or sometimes for trials maybe. Um, then I've got Benefits Professional, which I absolutely love. Um, this is my favourite primer on me, I think. Um, but if you've got really oily skin, it may not be for you. And for those people, oh, <clears throat> I've got this, which is the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Photo Finish Primer. This stuff is amazing. It's heaven sent. It's so good. Um, <clears throat> but obviously, these two do virtually the same thing. It just depends on the person's skin type as to which one I use. As I said in the intro, I'm not 100% set on foundations yet, but at the moment I'm using the ones that I really love. So in here I've got a couple of L'Oreal True Match foundations. Um, I've got the really, really light, I think this is like um, C1, yeah. And then I've got um, a medium tone and a darker tone, and then I've got a couple of Revlon Colour Stays, um, the airbrush effect ones. These are really, really nice. They, they photograph so well. I really, really like these foundations. And for a, um, I mean, they're not cheap, but for a drugstore foundation, they're so, so good. Um, I am working on getting a MAC one that I like, because people do like MAC, um, but I just haven't settled on one yet. Um, and this is the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. Again, really, really, really good um, primer, especially as a drugstore primer. It's really, really good quality. Then I open these two out, and there's, like, underneath trays. Um, and in this side I've got two, um, these are like highlighting, they're face illuminators, so they get, basically go in with your foundation, I mix them in with the foundation, they're really really nice. Um, then I've got in here as well, a, just a sharpener, random sharpener, a few concealers, um, I've got the Essence um, eyeshadow primer, because only because I've run out of my Urban Decay primer potion. Um, the Maybelline Instant Arrays, which I love, and the um, MAC Pro Longwear, but I need to get some more shades of that one as well. And this, which is a complete dupe for Benefits Boing, um, which was on Mrs. Ginger's beauty channel. Um, I'll link her channel down below. She did a like review, like a comparison review on this, and this product is really, really nice. So I do recommend that, and I'll leave her channel down below. And then also in here, I've got two of the Barry M Dazzle Dust. I absolutely love these. I've got these in a few different shades. There's, I'm sure I've got more in here somewhere. Maybe not. This is 105 and 106. They're the most sort of universally neutrally shades. They're very good. They're very blendable considering they're like a pigment and I absolutely love those. So then in this side, um, I've got a few random bits. This is not 100% sorted yet. I need to kind of go through this. These are all in a bit of a mishmash, but there's a lip liner there. There's a nude eyeliner, which is like a little opening your eyes up secret. I love that. There's Soap and Glory's Archery with the little spoolie on the end, which I love. Just a Maybelline mascara, an Ico liquid liner because that's my favourite liquid eyeliner ever. A collection um, shadow stick, um, the Smashbox Full Exposure mascara, the Max Factor lip elixir, just a normal coal pencil. Um, Benefit, they're real, my favourite mascara ever, ever. This will always be in my kit. Then I've got a Glam Shine, which is like my most neutral for brides. Absolutely love that colour. Um, a very neutral matte Revlon balm. And also a Revlon um, moisture stain. You can tell I really like Revlon. Revlon really excel themselves. Then at the back uh, in there, I have actually just got a red lipstick and another nude lipstick. Um, but I'm, they're a bit of a pain to get out. <laughs> then in this underneath bit, I just keep um, makeup remover. So I've got the chamomile one because that's really friendly to everybody. That's the body shop one. Makeup wipes. Um, just some cotton buds. And also some cotton rounds, but I need to put a new packet in. And also I normally keep in here my brush cleaner as well. But that is out because my brushes need cleaning. Um, the brush cleaner I use in my kit is just a hive one because it is a spot cleaner. Um, so you don't have to worry about using water and stuff like that. It's just a rub on and then they're done sort of thing. And then these unclip on here. So if I take this next one off. And under here we have all my lashes and all my palettes. So in this top drawer on this side all I've got is Ardell Demi Wispies. I cannot beat these lashes. They are my favourite lashes um, for pretty much any look. They're so lovely. They just look natural but full. I don't know if you can, if it's better if I'm this way around actually. Um, Demi Wispies are just amazing. I've used quite a few up, which is why there's some gaps, but I tend to keep 10 in my kit at all times. Then over here, I've got all my cluster lashes. Again, very popular. It's something that I do use quite a lot for a more natural look, particularly if it's a long day. 
you don't want to be risking losing your strip lashes. So I do keep cluster lashes here. And then on this side, I just keep all my little gadgets for lashes. So I've got a pair of eyelash curlers. Um, I think these are model zone ones, I'm not even sure. I also keep, there's my gel liner. I knew there was another one in here. So I've got two gel liners in here. This, sh this shouldn't be in here. A pair of scissors in case I need to trim the lashes down. The Duo eyelash adhesive for strip lashes. And then also the Duo lash adhesive for individual lashes. Well, cluster lashes. So that's those. I do do proper eyelash extensions as well, but I don't keep that in this kit because I would never do that on a bride the morning of her wedding. It would just not happen. So that's my lashes. And then this sort of top tray lifts out. And under here are all my palettes. Well, all my palettes that I use in my kit. So I will just go through what we've got here. There's a little matte quad. Um, I, to be honest, I keep this for this colour here. I love this colour. I don't really use the others in this quad. Um, then I've got the Sleek Precious Metals Highlighting Palette, which is just beautiful. If I can open it with one hand, which I probably can't. Yeah, there we go. Um, I keep the little cover of it, but that, they're gorgeous highlighting shades. Then I've also got the Naked 1 and the Naked 2 palette. Then I've got, this is a Marvel Brow um, brow palette, which is like my universal brow colours, because that kind of goes for everybody. Then I've got a MAC palette with just neutrals in. Um, this is because, to be honest, this is set up for weddings at the moment, so I've not got really any brights. That's a neutralising shade, which is why there's a random bright green in there. I've got a few sleek palettes, because they're very nicely pigmented eyeshadows. I've got the Naked Basics palette in the back there. And this is like my, at the moment, favourite palette. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure palette. And it's just amazing. I love it so much. So that gets a bit battered and bruised. But those are the palettes that I've been loving for jobs at the moment. So then if I unclip the next one down, we go down again. It's not as exciting, this one. All I keep in here is my brush belt. So in here, there is a brush belt um, with just a ton of loads of different brushes. I'm not going to go through them. If you want to see a video on what I think my like favourite brushes are, what the best brushes are, let me know in the comments and that's something I will think about doing but this is just an ordinary brush belt which you can just get on eBay. So that lives in there. So I hope you like this video guys, um, as I said anything you'd like to see like brush videos or my favourite videos or anything like that leave a comment down below and I will try and do it for you. Um, I hope you like it and I will see you all soon. Bye!